Welcome to Andrew Fitness, I'm Joe. All right, so we are at, let's see here, radiation treatment. By the time you see this, I will have a completed radiation treatment day nine. So nine of the 25 uh, radiation treatments. So as you can tell, probably just by maybe the way I look or by the way I'm talking, I am feeling unbelievably great. I mean, um, I can't tell you or explain how I feel because the going through the chemo treatments, the infusion, from the time I started for that four months of those eight infusions, uh, the tail end of that, they last, let's say, four to six weeks was six weeks was just horrible uh, roller coaster, uh, mainly on my body, really, uh, exhausted, feeling nauseous and nauseated and just to the point where my, my weight dropped to about 165 pounds. Uh, by the end of cycle eight, which was October 10th was when I had that last infusion. So about till two weeks after that, I just felt miserable, um, exhausted and drained. But let's talk, we're here to talk about the radiation treatment. So wasn't quite sure what to experience or how this, uh, the whole treatment would go, um, but I, I'm currently taking six chemo pills. I take three in the morning and three in the evening. I think I may have touched base on that a little bit. And the, the chemo treatment itself, uh, by the time I get there, um, get checked in, um, I'm in and out of there in less than 10 minutes. I'm not having any bad side effects from the radiation at this time. Now, granted, we're only nine, day, nine treatments into 25. Now, my oncologist says that the radiation does build up in you and accumulates and you may start to feel a certain way. Now, when I talk to my oncology radiologist, uh, he's, you know, and I'm telling him how I feel. He's like, well, it seems like you're just going to breeze right through this. Just keep doing what you're doing. We'll keep doing what we're doing. And from the, the sounds of it, I mean, I feel great to the point where I'm going to get back to doing more videos. I'm going to get back to doing some more supplement reviews. So what that means is that I actually now have some, I have a lot more energy now, uh, more endurance uh, slowly, the endurance is slowly building up because I haven't worked out since I want to say probably mid July. So training all these years and working out, my body has been conditioned to at least train four to five times a week. Um, so you would not believe by taking that much time off, how much, as you can see, this shirt, I'm swimming in it. I've lost a lot of definition, a lot of size, uh, but I'm going to bank on muscle memory, uh, my, my, men my mental capacity to push myself in no matter what situation I'm in. Um, so I'm going to bank on that and also to the sheer drive and support of my family and friends and, and loved ones. So um, I, I honestly feel I'm going to put together a small little plan. I'm not going to ego lift. I'm going to get lightweight uh, and just get my body conditioned again to get in that mu muscle, muscle memory back into the whole into the whole motion of what my body was so used to doing for all these years. So with that said, my eating has increased too. Ever since the infusion is done, I'm not nauseated. My weight is now back up to 177. So I'm going to try to stay within the 175 to 180 range on weight. Uh, especially this time of year with the holidays coming up. You have Thanksgiving, you have Christmas, you have New Year's. A lot more food being available, but I have great people around me and supporting me that provide me and make us food sometimes and cherry pies and all the good stuff that I love to eat. So I think that was another true reason why I was able to pack on from 165 back up to 177 again, because I just had, um, oh, let's use a big word, plethora of food that I can consume in high dense calories um, that actually helped me pack on this weight. So all my markers have come back on my blood work. My liver is, my liver is in the best range that it's ever been. So that's even without working out and, that, and without taking any type of um, supplements such as, you know, milk thistle or things that are geared towards that. So I'm a big, I'm a big advocate of taking herbal supplements to help with my internal uh, organs because let's face it, I don't have a large intestine. I don't have a gallbladder. Um, so, and the liver just gets taxed so much more. So before I keep rambling on, this goes much longer. The goal going forward is, is, is to... Now that I'm getting my endurance back, now that I have some energy, I'm going to start utilizing that energy to try to get in a 30, we'll say 20 minute workout, then I'll increase the 30 minute workout, 40 and up to back to an hour. Now this may sound crazy, um, 
probably wondering why is he doing this when he's going to be having surgery early first quarter of 2023. Well, I want to get my body back to a state where it internally right now, minus the cancer, it is healthy. Uh, all my, like I said, all my blood work come back best it's been um, in years. Um, and that's without working out, which kind of shocks me. But in the food I've been eating too. So it's just amazing how the body and mind work together. Uh, when you, when you can, you tell yourself, this is how it's going to be. This is how it's going to work. And just having faith in the whole, everything in the process. So as I said, I'm going to slowly get back into working out. Yes, it's going to be cold out at my garage gym. Um, I have to wear gloves because I do have some nephropathy and then I'm butchering that word, but it's where you have numbness in your fingertips. It's nerve damage in, in my feet from the chemo, one of the chemos. Uh, hopefully that will go away soon, but that's the goal. I'm going to try to get back to working out this weekend, gradually get back into it. Uh, with the weights, I'm definitely going to ramp up uh, cardio uh, with that either being on the bike we have and or treadmill. I'm going to start doing that just to get the, the heart pumping, get the, the, the blood flowing even more so. Uh, all in prep for, I want to go into this surgery because I'm not one to elect to have surgery, uh, to volunteer to have it. I do not like being sedated or put under. So I want to go into this knowing that as at that point I will be 50, almost 51. At that point, I want to know as a 51-year-old, I have taken every opportunity that I have to go into this surgery to be in the best shape, pretty close to the best shape, um, internally and externally, to be able to go into this surgery so that I'm prepared for the surgery. And then hopefully afterwards, being that I've prepped myself and prepared my body for this, that'll also help me to heal a lot quicker uh, post-surgery. So that's where we're at. Radiation day nine of 25, feeling, I'm gonna use it, fabulous. I am feeling fabulous to the point where um, I wanna do more, I wanna get out of the house more. Uh, I gotta avoid people still, uh, just mainly for my immune system because I'm on the chemo pill. But I, get, I wanna get out of the house more, I wanna be more active, uh, both physically uh, in a gym and also too around the house, uh, just getting everything ready for the holidays and just taking care of business. All right, I'm Joe with Andrew Fitness. As always, like, share, subscribe, share with a friend. Tell them to like the, like, like the channel. Just like it. Click the bell and stay tuned because we're going to get back into doing some more reviews on proteins. Maybe some pre-workouts. We'll see. All right, I'm Joe with Andrew Finesse. As always, like, share, subscribe, and never give up.